Happy birthday. Born on the 21st of February is a very powerful and strong horoscope to have. You will tend to be very dominating and sometimes very stubborn. Try to correct that bit of it. But you will have what we call the gift of intuition and you will be able to use this intuition in many ways as well. You will have plenty of ambition in your horoscope. A person who likes to think on a very big scale and you will have that kind of ambition of wanting power, authority. There are many business planets in your horoscope and these business planets tend to make you think more of business rather than wanting to work for other people. But always remember that you also have planets who are very fast and these planets are not very steady for you. And what they do is they make you think you know a situation or a topic or a, a business technique but you actually don't know it yet. They make you look at these possibilities of business in a very hasty and impatient way. And then when you try to do that business, you will find that you are not prepared for it. So one of the drawbacks of your horoscope is hasty, impatience and not ready to do things. So I would say that until the age of 27 or 28 onwards, <laughs> that's the time where you can think of business. But your horoscope starts to do very well from the age of 30 onwards. So that would be the time where I would recommend it. In terms of your compatibility, you are a pretty good compatibility person. But again, the differences can be that you would tend to be very stubborn and very dominating. I'm going to talk to you about 2017. And um, I'm going to do this by firstly explaining to you that the calendar year 2017 planets are not very steady with you. And so they bring about a lack of about 30% to 35% of good luck. But you still have 65, sometimes 70%. It all depends on your ages. Now in 2017, I'm going to give you a, an example of ages. And uh, if you are of these ages, any of these ages in 2017, you're going to be a very lucky person in areas of career, business, or also in areas of romance or marriage. Now, let's just imagine uh, that you are the ages of 16 or 25 or 34 or 43 or 52 or 61 or 70 or 79. Now, if you are any of these ages, then you are going to be doing very well in all areas of your life. But remember that the calendar year, which basically is the platform that you are on, everybody in life has to go through the same calendar year on that date, almost at that same time. So be careful, that platform is not very steady. So don't be too impatient, don't be too hasty. Try to learn the situation you are in and then do whatever of importance is and you will find success. I'm also going to read to you some ages as an example where people born on the 21st of February don't do very well. They, they attract obstacles and hurdles and difficulties of all kinds. Now let's imagine and pretend that you are the ages of 23 or 32 or 41 or 50 or 59 or 68 or 77. If you happen to be any of these ages, tell yourself that you need to be very cautious in whatever you attempt to do, <coughs> attempt to do in um, 2017. You will have certain cluster of planets in your age area and these cluster of planets tend to be mischievous and they create a temperament of you which is difficult and they bring about a hastiness and impatience about you as well where mistakes can be made. So this is an example. Now if you are neither of these sets of ages which I've given to you, then you are in the middle path. You'll have your normal ups and downs but it won't be to the extremes of good or the extremes of bad. 
So one day perhaps I will have your full date of birth and your time of birth and be able to look at your palms and then I will do a, a very accurate horoscope for you. I want to talk to you about your health. Now only knowing that you are born on the 21st of uh, February, I'm going to uh, advise you on a few things. Firstly, you will have some trouble about gaining too much weight. You will have a horoscope which likes to eat a lot and drink a lot as well, alcohol that is. And therefore, you will, you will put on weight very easily. So work out. Work out every day. When you go out and enjoy yourself eating and drinking, then work out the next day. Otherwise, there's a danger of putting on too much weight. Now, I'm going to say something very serious and uh, this is only based on a little knowledge of knowing you are born on the 21st of February but I have to say it, I'm a little worried about your heart and if you have a little pain in that area or palpitations which means the heart beating too fast or that you perspire sometimes uh, even when you're not in the sun um, then you should go and see a cardiologist and just let him, let him or her have a look at you also your liver your liver can get very fatty as well and so I suspect that your cholesterol levels are going to be very high. So regarding your liver, it's very easy, do a liver function test which is a blood test. And also you will tend to have your lower spine problems. There is a nerve called the sciatic nerve which comes out of your lower spine, down your buttocks, down your legs, up to your feet and they are being pinched. So see a neurologist for that and the neurologist will be able to look after you. These are the few things which I'm plucking out from just one planet and uh, when I have your full date of birth, time of birth, palms, I can see then I will do a full job for you. Regarding travel, you will be a great traveler but you will tend to travel if you have business on mind. Yes, you like holidays as well but you are a business minded person and so when you travel, the business angle will be very important. In terms of migration, there is no difficulty of this horoscope migrating, but there will be some delays. I will find that until you enter the age of 30, only then the opportunities start to arise for you in terms of migration. There is some liking for migration at the ages of 25, 24 and 25 but uh, I don't think you'll be able to manage that yet, okay? Now, how do you make yourself lucky? There is this word meditation. Meditation is a word which has become a little bit too complicated. Meditation is when you can sit back and just channel your energy, concentrate on what's important and then want to achieve doing that. That's already the best form of meditation, okay? Now, you can do meditation in many ways. I would like you to face a good direction. Every, every planet around the compass has been given a place to stay. So there will be some planets in your horoscope which are not very steady. Some will be extremely good for you. For you, I would like you to face the uh, direction of east. When you face east, you are looking at a small group of planets which are the best for you. And when you look at them, their duty is to bless you. So they make your temperament, they make your concentration level, basically they bring good luck to you when you look at them. So you face east and I would like you to try this method out. Your fingers and your palms, uh, when we hold them like this, the energy from us is actually channeled out and is wasted. So if you are going to concentrate on something that you want very much, then what you should do is firstly your thumb is the almighty thumb, is the position of the sun. So you get your palm and in your case, I would like you to connect it with your ring fingers which we sometimes call the sun finger as well. So when you do that, the energy that comes through your ring finger doesn't escape but it comes back through your thumb. And this way as you concentrate on what you want and the wishes you are making, this energy builds up more and more and more and the power that be in the universe will will look at that and listen to that and will give you your wishes. So try this method of um, uh, meditation as well. Okay. So overall you have a good horoscope. I, I would like you one day to uh, Skype with me. I charge USD 50, 50 USD 
for a 75 minute session whereby I will use Kabbalistic astrology, palmistry and I'll also use tarot cards to help you and that way I'll be able to do a, a accurate horoscope for you. Do go to Facebook and follow me and we can communicate and you can ask me questions and we can set up a date for the Skype as well. Thank you in the meantime and good luck.